Everybody, this is Kirusho here, and I'm sorry for my lack of uploads yesterday, but I got a call, and they basically needed me to go into work today, which this, if you guys are watching this right now, I will not be able to respond to comments, because just like I did the other, or that one time, I am pre-recording, so this is going to be part four. And I'm not, I'm saying that for me whenever I read all of these because I don't want to accidentally upload the wrong videos. So the next three uploads, I'll probably be saying part, part, and then what part it's on. And that's mainly for me whenever I start uploading these because I'm going to try and upload them on my breaks. I'm going to try and upload them during lunch. And if possible, I may try and actually upload, or I'm not, I can't. I was going to say, I can try and upload a video during my lunch break, but I'd have to bring my headset to work, and I don't want to leave it in my car. So, again, before I go into this, I asked people if they wanted me to bring in the alien and the predator for this what if. I only got one response in that comment saying no. So, can you guys please... Tell me down below in the comments, because I figured out where I can actually put the alien in. Now then. Or, I figured out where I can put both of them in. Now then. Whenever we last left off, Deku and Bakugo and Yuraka, they had actually all passed the entries exam. They had actually just... Deku had gotten the top score because of his hero points, and everyone would arrive at UA. Now, whenever they arrive at UA... Ah, my shoulder. Whenever they arrive at UA, this is a very different UA. Because it seems more like a military school. More militaristic. Now. After arriving, they would go to Class 1A, and Deku would open the door. Everyone would be looking at him funny, and... This is where he just walk in and sit down. People keep asking him questions about his quirk. And that is whenever they would see <sighs> not see, but this is whenever people are asking Deck about his quirk, a lot of different things. They're asking him if he has an enhancement quirk or anything like that. And All Might has already actually given Deku one for all and gave him somewhat of a better idea of how to use it. Because he is more tactical, so he wouldn't try and just give a vague explanation. He'd just be very blunt, like, hey, keep it on. Let it flow throughout your body. Don't be stiff. Let it flow. Like you're doing a martial arts or you're trying to dance. Like, you want to be able to be flexible and comfortable <sighs> with fighting, so you have to let the power flow throughout your entire body, not just your arms. And whenever you get to the point where you feel like you're going to break, just go lower, or try and concentrate on it going lower. So Deku would actually listen to All Might, and he'd be uh, around... 15 to 20% at maximum right now because he's just trying to get a crash course test or he's just trying to get a hold of the basics of using it right now. Now then, he would give the explanation and this is one of our Deku. He would hear someone laughing as they would walk in and just say that he has the best quirk. He can just copy anyone's and use their quirks and their abilities. And this is whenever he would walk over to Deku saying that you're the guy whose quirk was that fire thing, right? Deku would just say it's called pyrokinesis. And if you don't even know what it's called, you shouldn't be using it. 
he's saying that he shouldn't get so more offensive. Deku's saying that he's not being offensive, he's just saying a fact. What good are you if you just rely on other people's powers other than your own? You're nothing but a cheap copycat. This guy would then get really infuriated and just start going off on how he's not a copycat. He was the best person, or he got he scored very high in the interviews with him. Bakugo and Yoraka would actually butt in saying that he scored the highest, or Midoriya scored the highest, and I scored second place, and Yoraka got third. So, how where did you place? He would then begrudgingly just say fourth. And they would just start laughing at him. Now then, Aizawa would actually get up from the floor saying that he is Aizawa and he is going to be committing committing. He is going to be commencing a quirk apprehension test. So everyone who's quirk or everyone go dress in your uniforms or your PE outfits and we're going to be doing a quirk assessment test. Now, what I am doing is There's going to be two portions to this test. Everyone's going to be testing their physical abilities and all that. Deku would actually be told to throw the ball, and he would then get the ball from Aizawa, charge up to 15%, and just chuck it as hard as he can. Which, he would then do that, and he would get around 1,000 to 1,200 meters. Bakugo and Yurok are in shock, as she would get infinite, and Bakugo would actually score third. With about 800 to 900 meters, so better than in canon. Monomo would just try copying Deku's quirk, and as soon as he would charge up, or as soon as he would try winding up his arm to throw the ball, he would throw the ball and only get about 70 meters before he just uses pyro, or he tries using Deku's kinesis to actually just chuck the ball 300 feet, or 300 meters. Which, he's now confused because there, he couldn't copy that quirk, so it must be a, or it must be like a, it, he probably can't copy enhancement quirk, so this might be an energy storage quirk or something. Like how a mutation quirk works. So then, after that, Deku would actually tie with Ida in the race, and the guy would just copy Ida's quirk, tying or being a little bit behind. I would say he's at least like a little bit behind whoever's quirky copies. So he at least scored second place and third place in some categories with Deku. So the overall score is Deku and Bakugo are averaging around second. Nuraka's averaging around fourth for most of the parts except for the ball throw which she scored first. And Monoma is actually scoring third place. Now then, because of this, Aizawa will then say that next they are going to be doing a battle contest throughout every... Or they are going to be doing a battle contest for the school throughout the entire... Well, they are going to be doing a game of Capture the Flag with everybody in school. Whoever scores the least amount of points or fails to capture people will actually be expelled. And you guys are allowed to use your quirks to the fullest extent. Which means you can well likely only one in five people ever really survive this. So we're kind of expecting four casualties. Which is as when Aizawa would actually point to the fence, and they would see there's medics on standby. Which makes everyone very nervous. Ooh, that popped. Nothing. Sorry, I just brought my arm up and popped it. Now then. This is when Ramonima, he would start running around, trying to copy people's quirks. Which, he realizes that since now everyone knows that he's got a cheap trick, they're staying away from him. Since four people are expected to either die or be expelled. Or at least just be kicked down in different classes. So this is their actual solution to 
only one person from each class being expelled and moving up, leaving a gap in the lower lowest class with only five students missing. So it's essentially just, hey, uh, hang on one minute. Okay, I got it. Now then, this is whenever. Ooh. The four people we are going to be expelling is Ayama, Mineta, Invisible Girl, and Monoma. Now then, those four are going to be expelled, and we are going to be moving up. Uh, I, I think this guy did good, but we're going to be moving up Kendo. Uh, I think this girl's quirk is like, um, I think I know what her quirk is, or is that... We're going to be moving up Kendo, Ibarra, Tetsu Tetsu, and who's, hmm, whose quirk would be the best in this situation? This guy's got Beast Man, that guy has Harden, this guy has Super Glue. This guy can like soften any surface he touches. This guy's got Weld. I think this guy's got drill bits. This guy's got a pincer move, and I think this guy might control shadows. And this is Pony. She's she able, she's able to like fire her horns out as projectiles or something. So let's see. Hang on, let me let me look up this girl's quirk. I don't actually know who she is. I don't. I find that weird. I don't know who she is. Okay, so I said four. Who we're going to be bringing in is going to be Kendo, who has big hands. Ibarra, Sujui. Tetsu Tetsu, and I said that we're going to be bringing in her, but her quirk is actually Poltergeist, which I completely blanked on. And this girl, Yui Kendo, uh, her quirk is actually called Size. She's basically Mountain Lady, but I think she might be able to shrink herself also. Now, those four are going to be moved up into class. Okay, so this is after I already recorded the video. And I just stopped it from editing and everything. I'm going to find a point to put this in. I looked up the girl's quirk, and her quirk is not size. It is actually anything she touches, she can increase or decrease the size of. So, let's just say that she picked up rocks and actually just threw them at people, tossed them, to actually get an edge over everyone. Which actually works a bit better because of how outside they are and all the rocks around. So, I'm going to be finding a way to put this in the video. So, expect an well, I can't really say expect an odd cut, because there was already one. Anyway, guys, that is actually how she would have done it, before anyone comments that that's not her quirk. She probably would have just thrown a croc at... A croc. She's not Kirishima. She would have thrown a rock at Monoma, hitting him in the chest, actually breaking a few ribs and knocking him out. Now, every one in five judges die during training, which is why a lot of people would actually get injured and one or two people would at least die. One being Mineta. Now then. Uh, yeah. This is a bit awkward. Sorry guys. And, uh, back to the what if. This one A, and I'm going to have to write down their names in a minute, so I'm just going to switch back to the I don't know why I started sliding back through these. So now then. Let me... Crap, let me write down their name for a minute. Please hang on. Okay, I just wrote down their names. Now then. This is whenever the entire battle would commence, and everyone in Class 1A, they want to stick together, but... They... This is the first day, so they have no allegiance to each other. But Bakugo and Kirishima would actually somewhat stick together, with Kirishima being... 
Bakugo would always jump at the chance to fight people, and Kirishima would be more trying to defend them and actually trying to keep everyone together. Along with Ida doing the same thing, but this is one of Rodeku. He's fighting around with people, and he actually takes down the most amount of people, getting number one in this category, and actually beating quite a bit of people's score. Now, in this chaos, Mineta actually got murdered, and that is going to be where we leave that at. Now, I want to say Ayama would probably try using his quirk, and if you guys know about Ayama's hero suit, he can blast lasers through his hands, and the way he uses his naval laser where he puts his hands behind his head, youch, that's not a good idea. It's very stupid. Now then, let's say that he probably just like got injured and had to be out, so he got left out of UA. Invisible girl, people kind of forgot she was there, so let's say she probably got hit by a couple of people's quirks because they just thought there was no one there, so they just blind fired. And she would probably get stabbed with Pony's. Probably with Pony's horns by accident, so she'd probably get like an injury in the arm and actually have to leave you away. And. Hmm. Mineta. Invisible girl. Ayama. Monoma. There we go. Monoma keeps trying to copy people's quirks, but. The guy from. Or Kendo. She would try punching him, but. He would copy her quirk, and this is where it wouldn't work, so Tetsu Tetsu would actually punch him in the face. And he would copy Tetsu Tetsu's quirk, and then Yui would actually just take him down by smashing him with her giant foot. Whenever she turned up, or turned on how big her side was, size was. So let's say she was probably about like 15 meters tall. So she was able just to usually just stomp on him and actually just overpower him because he didn't have enough time to copy her quirk and actually start growing. So after that, he was promptly just eliminated from class 1A. And the people I have listed have actually been put in class 1A. Now then. Uh, okay, I have enough time to go over that. I just realized if I be too loud, I might wake people up. So I'm just probably going to record this one. I'm probably just going to post this now. And you guys will know the explanation for why I might not be posting a lot tomorrow. So I can just make up for that later. Now then. Because of that. This actually took a quite a bit of thinking. Because I tried figure, thinking about who I can put in a closet and who I don't like. Just to immediately expel them. I just thought, hey. This guy thinks he's relevant. Hell then. The heroes versus villains would actually go quite a bit differently with Deku and Yuraka on the same team. But this time it's actually Bakugo and. Let's say it's Bakugo and Ibarra. So, Sozaki. Wait, so. I just realized how weird that is to pronounce. Now then. This is whenever she's actually on Bakugo's team. Bakugo's hero suit is different because it's sleeker and actually has holes in his. Sh it has holes in his shoes he can fire his cork out of to actually make a stabilized flight and sustainable one. Because they just don't shoot it in. Bur he doesn't need to shoot. He can shoot it in burst, but he can sustain it by just pulling a pin he has on one of his boots. Which can actually act as like a boost. Now then, because of that, Bakugo, he's very curious on how Midoriya essentially just manifested a lightning quirk, or a an enhancement quirk apparently. And they're talking. She, he's explained to Yuraka how he figured out a new quirk he has, and it essentially helped boosted his own quirk. So his fire has somewhat been turning blue, while his telekinesis has actually been showing signs of improvement. What I mean by that is, whenever he lifted the zero pointer, it was taking all he's got and he nearly had a brain aneurysm. So if he were to try and do that again right now, it actually wouldn't be as bad. It would be at least half the damage, or at least less. Now then, 
<sighs> Kendo is realizing that, or not Kendo, Sojaki, yeah, Shozaki, I immediately just don't think about that. I'm just going to call her Ibarra. Ibarra and Bakugo are talking, and they're thinking about strategy, and she would immediately just try coating the entire hallway with fine, saying that that should slow them down, at the very least. Now then, after doing that, he's telling her that that's not going to work, and she'd ask why, as the hallway would immediately just be set afire. He would immediately just say that's why, as he grabs her and actually tackles her to the ground, evading the fire, as it would come flooding through the room. Deku and Yuraka are actually heading in, and Deku, he's actually just, he's actually charged up at 20%, so he's just throwing around as much power as possible. And while he's throwing around that much power, he's actually breaking some of the pillars on the walls, breaking a bit of the floor, and actually cracking it a lot. And this is actually bringing, causing things to actually come up into the air. Now, Yuraka! <sighs> She's using this chance to actually use her quirk on these items and actually just make them flow, and she's actually shooting them at the girl with the vine quirk. Deku would immediately go to punch Baku, but Baku would have met his hand with his gauntlet and actually tried blowing Deku's arm, hitting Deku's arm with an explosion, so trying to blow up Deku's arm. Deku would have immediately just punched through his smoke and actually broke a knuckle in his hand, as he would have punched Baku in the face, sending him into a wall. Now, since his, since his gauntlets are now sleeker, they would actually have an easier fight. So, it would be more hand-to-hand, -hand as whenever Baku would try and punch Deku and actually try and send off one of his gauntlets, Deku would have immediately just smash his arm, actually breaking the gauntlet, and causing the explosion to blow out of the side of the mount, or blow out of the side of the building, destroying the building next to them. As soon as that would happen, that building would actually start collapsing and smash into the one they're in, causing a huge shake and earthquake as things are getting more heated as these two have not stopped fighting. Yuraka is actually taking this opportunity to try and go for the bomb, but this girl would immediately wrap vines around Yuraka's leg as Deku would just turn to her and just push her as hard as he can with his telekinesis. And this would send her backwards and she would be trying to go after Yuraka again as he would immediately just blow fire. Or he would encase her with like a half ring of fire. So he would have entirely lit up the ground and she would just see as she looks as Deku. And I just realized it's the next plan hero suits. I will do that in the next part. Because I did not prepare a picture. Actually, no, I can do that. Deku would probably have a black stealth suit on. So it's just like how you would see, it looks like a judge's outfit, but it's basically just like body armor and a black suit. It's an entire one-piece rubber suit that looks like judge's armor, but it's actually bulletproof and made of Kevlar. It's got lacing of Kevlar, and he actually puts on a shirt and pants over it. And he would then cover it with the 2012 Dread, Dread outfit. So like hockey pads and actual different things. Along with, it, with a badge that just says Midoriya. Or his hero name. So he would actually still be wearing the helmet. Now she would see Deku and as soon as she would see his face through the fire as his expression did not change. She would have actually hesitated as he would have thrown a psychic punch at her. Which is essentially just, he would put as much telekinesis as he can on one central spot on her face. So imagine being hit with the force of a punch through one finger. That would probably knock you out, actually, in real life. So she would be down and she'd be considered out of the match. As Yuraka would actually just try and rush Bakugo because all she needs to do is touch him once. That wouldn't work, and she would actually try sending a piece of shrapnel into Bakugo's arm, or at least to blow off his other gauntlet. Now, Bakugo is actually somewhat trying to actually be defensive and offensive. So his form of a fighting style, he's actually just... He's more maneuverable because he has a form of hovering while still standing with his quirk. 
so he can just release smaller, more concentrated explosions in his feet. And doing this, he can release a rapid burst by just shifting his leg up and firing. So he would have actually had somewhat like rollerblades on the bottom of him. So he would have actually been a lot more maneuverable than I thought, because he can just he can immediately just perform an entire three like us. He could literally like roll around in circles around you, just blasting in one direction. Now then, Deku would eventually knock Baku out by punching out one of his teeth and sending him through a pillar. And they would be declared the winners. Now, I'm going to be posting this part right now, instead of just saving it for tomorrow, so... I got a call, and I'm going into work tomorrow, so... What ifs are going to be... Uh, I won't be posting until 5 o'clock tomorrow, my time. Now then, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Or not, I won't be posting then, I'll be posting around 6 o'clock. I get off of work at 5. Now then, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And peace out, guys. Also, still let me know if you guys want the alien and the predator in the series. I only got one comment on the last video. And I wanted to do it during the USJ attack, but I figured out a better way to do it. So please comment and tell me what you guys think. If you guys want it, just please say, or just say yes or no. And I will listen, because we already have one vote for no. And I was hoping I could get more votes.